take you to another story now. For the second time in just 10 days, we are taking yet another difficult decision to air a video clip which we ordinarily would not. The footage of Kiambu Governor William Kabogo addressing hundreds of people at the Thika Municipal Stadium and issuing statements that should put to question the relevance of the National Cohesion and Integration Commission. We are once again airing the remarks as a reminder and challenge to the NCIC, which is charged with guarding the country from hateful, insightful or abusive statements. We're asking them to rise to the occasion and prove that the National Cohesion and Integration Act is good, not only on paper. <laughs> Locals got down to it. And so did Jubilee leaders, as hundreds gathered at the Thika Municipal Stadium to mark 30 years of John D. Matthews' singing career. And where the leaders were gathered, things took on a now all too familiar tone. Kiambu Governor William Kabogo's statement was anything but reconciliatory. Na hiyo maneno ya kulaka kulete vita kwa Kenya Sisi hatuna haja na vita Lakini hatuogopi mutu ya yote Ni wama? Tue hamwe? Meru oguo? Na tibara ni rata kada ni Kaboko claims some leaders are out to taint President Uru Kenyatta's name His next salvo was directed at Machako Senator Johnston Mudama Bana Mudama Usitaribu tena kumtusi raiso wa jamuri ya Kenya Usidaribu tena na ukidaribu nega kukora kwa mami wanyu mshiri. Namasi ya reke hee marumage noti ya huru. Tuko pamoja? Tuko hamwe? Mamondo wa rogama uhuru. Mamondo wa rogama uhuru. Wani social media. Mayure tiye kinabisha siya keko. Pawana hatabu wanu. And the governor was not done yet. His next target called leader Raila Odinga. Kabugo joins the list of leaders whom the National Cohesion and Integration Act may have been crafted for. According to the Act, a person is considered to have engaged in hate speech if he or she uses threatening, abusive or insulting words or behavior or displays any written material intended to stir up ethnic hatred. Fire! 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 Raila and your president, lazima watu wakufa kiasi. Kwani kuna makosa gani? Kaini mwere, na kiyo naigire, Mwabe mwoka na mafaka maanyu. Mafaka maanyu utawa maagu togo tatu. Nama higuwa. Mwoto ozi ole. Mwaka ba mwaka zi hamu kare keri yogo yoka leto yoto wake. One time Nairobi mayor George Aladwa was arrested but later released. In his case and that of Gatundu South MP Moses Kuria, investigations are ongoing. In October 2012, William Kavogo, then Juja MP, appeared before the National Cohesion and Integration Commission over hate speech allegations. That probe didn't amount to much. The NCIC only gets as far as investigations, and to many politicians, the commission may have proved that it is a toothless bulldog. Only last week, Chief Justice Dr. Willy Mutunga warned of possible violence come 2017 if politicians beating the drum beats of violence are not tamed. The drums of possible violence are being heard by all of us. And if you haven't heard them, then you don't know anything about this country. The Director of Public Prosecutions, Keriako Tobiko, says he has taken note of the contents of the Kabogo video and will issue appropriate directives on Monday. Rita Tinina, KTN News.